Hi there, this is Ellie with Delighted. Welcome back to Admin Certification Module 6, Reporting on and Editing Feedback. This module digs into Delighted reporting. Some reports are sent automatically, like email digests. Others require you and your team to flip a few switches and click a few tiles. We'll start by glancing at the aggregated reports built into Delighted and then jump into individual records and responses. Under the Reports tab, you'll find a set of carefully designed reports analyzing incoming results from multiple angles. The reports, as seen along the top of the Reports tab, include Snapshot, Overtime, Pivot Table, Additional Questions, and Benchmarks. Note that the Benchmarks report is only available for NPS surveys. If you're running, say, a CSAT survey, you won't have benchmarking data available in the Reports tab. Reports can be viewed by every user joining a project. They will have complete access to all of the incoming results, controls, and filters needed for their independent review and analysis. What are these controls, you may ask? When you open any report in the Delighted platform, you'll see a couple of filtering options. The first one is the date range filter. This is the time period over which you want to analyze your data, say from last quarter or from this past month. The second filter is the groups or trends filter. You can use this filter to narrow down to just certain groups of responses, such as promoters or passes with comments, or to responses in a certain trend. Remember we learned about trends in the last module. For example, say you want to generate a report for your customer support team. You can create a trend that captures responses that mention support or help, and then filter the reports to show that customer support trend. That's the feedback for that team. One other thing to note, admin, standard, and limited users alike can filter these visualizations with trends, properties, and scale points. The choices they make do not impact the visualizations of other users, and each report will be reset to the default filters when you click away. Now let's run through each report type. Over time, reports track how key metrics change literally over time through the use of graphs and tables. This helps a team evaluate if they are moving the customer journey in a positive direction. Remember, you can also see a basic over time graph on the dashboard by clicking Show Graph. The full report seen here is much more detailed and hosts many more filters and controls. Snapshot Reports house four relevant visualizations over a self-selected time period. This report is great for sharing as a summary of your feedback. Simply snag a few screenshots and send them to your team. Pivot Tables quantify feedback with total counts, averages, percentages, and sums in a user-friendly format. Pivot Tables offer a granularity unavailable in other reports by juxtaposing statistics in this more academic report style. Pivot Tables are extremely effective when you need to encapsulate large sets of data. One key feature of the pivot table report is the keyword function. Select keyword from the drop-down list to generate a report that breaks down your comments into the most commonly used words. You can see what respondents are saying most often and what scores they're usually leaving when they mention those keywords. The additional questions report produces visualizations for each question, which can be sorted by scale points, properties, trends, and date ranges similar to other reports. Note the free response name and email additional questions will not show up in this report because they can't be aggregated in the same way a multiple choice question can. However, all this information can be exported to CSV files, which we'll discuss in detail at the end of the module. Complete respondent answers can also be accessed by clicking the additional questions icon to the top right hand side of any response tile. The icon shows the number of additional questions that someone has answered. All of the additional responses will be nested neatly under the additional answers section on the corresponding permalink page, which we will talk about more in a few seconds. Finally, Delighted NPS benchmarks share comparison data from over 10,000 consumers across an array of industries. Benchmarks are a powerful way to contextualize your NPS against comparable companies in your vertical. Benchmarks are strictly available for NPS. Whew, that's all for aggregate reporting. We have links in the show notes for all these report types if you wish to dig deeper. Okay, so maybe that's not all. There's one more semi-aggregate reporting feature, the Email Digest, which helps keep survey results top of mind. Users receive a curated selection of responses with a rolling average metric directly in their inboxes. By default, all users will receive a digest for every project they've joined on a weekly basis. To avoid overwhelming everyone, this frequency can be adjusted to convenient intervals. Daily, sent every morning. Weekly, the default, sent Monday mornings and monthly, sent the first morning of each month. If a project doesn't receive new feedback or responses came in without any comments, the digest will be paused. When feedback starts arriving again, the email digest will be resumed. Sweet, right? Especially if all the feedback looks as good as this. To adjust your digest frequency, click on account and then choose email digest. From there, use the drop-down menu to make your adjustments. While every user is responsible for deciding their own digest frequencies, as an admin, you have the ability to invite non-users to receive digests as well. From the email digest page, scroll down, add their email, and choose how often they should receive each digest. 
Any admin can make updates to these recipients' digest settings. Now let's look into how individual respondent records can be reviewed and edited. Any edits or deletions will alter the reports we just presented, so proceed with caution. It's time for the humble permalink page for Module 5 to take an encore. Permalink pages allow admins and standard users to permanently edit or even delete records. As a reminder, you can open permalink pages by clicking on any response tile. Permalink pages encapsulate all the details for a specific response. They are a respondent's name, which also provides a shortcut to an individual's response history page, the respondent selected score followed by their comment, answers to their additional questions, a full list of properties associated with the response, any tags that have been added to the bottom of the comment tile, and any notes that you and your team have added. There are five parts of a permalink record that can be edited and even deleted by admins. You can delete a response, edit a comment, edit a score, edit properties other than the ones automatically captured by Delighted, and add notes. Notes make it easy to add context to a response before it is forwarded to others. All delighted users, even the limited ones, can attach a note to a response. You can copy any permalink page and send it to any user. Recipients can access the response with a simple click. Here's the permalink for our own Madeline Fisher, who just can't get a product she likes. Yikes. Try clicking this link in the show notes. Delighted's testimonials feature allows you to publicly share feedback on your site in convenient widgets and can be set up from the integrations page. Once testimonials has been set up, admins and standard users can initiate the process of requesting permission to share individual pieces of feedback. It's important to seek permission. Legal guidance in this area holds that a comment is the property of the person who made it and cannot be used without permission. This advice goes beyond mere attribution. The best path is to seek permission. To acquire permission, open the permalink page for the person with your chosen quotable comment. As a courtesy, you may want to fix any spelling mistakes or typographical errors before you send the request, but the respondent will also have a chance to make these changes as well. Click the quotation mark to the right of the comment. If you haven't already set up the testimonials feature, click the link in the blurb to head there and finish setup up first. The person will be contacted for permission to use their testimonial. Reminder, you can't request a testimonial from an anonymous respondent. We need to know where to send the request after all. The respondent will be able to review their feedback by clicking the link. A page will appear showing what was said, asking them to enter their name as confirmation, and giving your respondent the power to approve or disapprove the use of their comment in a testimonial. The approved comment will now be available for viewing in our testimonials feature, or you will simply have explicit permission to share on social media. Sometimes you may want to export your raw data to see all the responses, including properties, comments, additional question answers, and more. Only admin and standard users can export data. Downloads default to CSV, the extremely versatile comma-separated values format. CSV files can be opened by any spreadsheet, Excel, numbers, or sheets, and by analytical software tools such as SPSS. You can download all or a selected part of your data for reporting and analysis. Here's how. Download from the dashboard if you need all of the project's data, including comments, score, properties, all additional question answers, and more. A date range can also be selected. Other filter settings will not be retained, however. Download from specific reports, trends, or people pages to capture just the summarized data set. Selected filters for some reports will be included with your export. For example, if you change date settings and then choose a scale point setting in an overtime report, only responses matching that criteria will be exported. To export data from the dashboard, scroll down and select Export Data on the left-hand side under the Property Filters. Choose the type of data you want to export, responses, sends, or scheduled surveys. Choose a date range, and click Export Data. To export specific report data, head to the Reports tab and open the report you want to export, apply any filters you want the export to use, and click Export as CSV. To export data for a specific person or trend, head to that page and choose Export as CSV on the bottom left. The file will automatically either start downloading or you'll get an email when it's ready, which happens if the file is larger than about 500 rows. If you need to import data, such as responses collected in another platform, simply send us a note at hello at delighted.com. We can get those responses imported so you can start using the aggregate reporting options ASAP. Now that you know everything you need to know about reporting, editing responses, and exporting data, we highly recommend jumping into your own account and playing around with the reports or using demo.delighted.com to really see these powerful features in action. Bye for now. We'll see you back here soon for the next module.